He's on. Holy, 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 holy is our God. Holy, 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 holy. Camera straight. Yes, thank you. You guys are welcome to Cross of God Church. You guys that are here, thank you so much for coming. May the God I serve bless you. Those who put it at home that will see the video from a different nation, I want to say thank you. Those who put in UK, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Those people in Canada, I want to say thank you also. Uh, people from uh, Afghanistan, Russian, that are streaming our video, I want to say thank you. Those people that uh, are in Albania that I spoke about, in uh, Somalia, also, I saw you guys. The Lord shows me you guys. I'm praying for you guys in the name of Jesus. There's a place, a country in Africa, Horn of Africa, it's called Djibouti. I saw you guys also. And I'm saying thank you guys for listening to the word of God. Thank you, thank you. Everywhere you, you, you are watching this from, thank you so much. Those people in Uganda, thank you. Those people in Kenya, thank you. Everywhere, the brother in, uh, in El Salvador, thank you so much. The pastor, thank you so much. Thank you, we we'll give you all the glory, our Father. Thank you, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Today... I'm talking about the Lordship of Jesus in your life. Now, this topic is very broad. The Lordship of Jesus Christ is a broad topic. The Lordship of Jesus Christ in your life is the stand you take as a true believer, when I mean the stand, the stand meaning that you accept Jesus completely. You cannot have the Lordship of Jesus Christ without His Spirit. You cannot be complete without the Spirit. You cannot say Jesus has the Lordship over your life without His Spirit. Before you become a witness, you have to be accepted in the spirit. What do I mean? Let's go to the book of Acts. Please, let's go to the book of Acts. Let's go to... Um, okay, let me show you first. The first one. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Let's take that one. That's the first one before the rest. Verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come 
upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in Judea, and Samaria, and towards the end of the earth. These are those that have the Lordship of Jesus Christ in their life. Now, let me take you to another place. Let's go. Let's go to Philippians chapter 1. Let's go to Philippians chapter 1. Philippians chapter 1. Are you guys there? Yeah. Are you guys there? Yes. Okay. I'm going to take it from 14. Then you will see where I'm taking, taking you guys to. And most of the brethren in what? Let me take it again. And most of what? The brethren, the brethren in what? The Lord. Most of the brethren in what? The Lord. In the law. These are the ones that I'm trying to open up to. These are the ones that I'm trying to introduce. These ones have the Lordship yes. of Jesus Christ. Yes. Let's continue. And most of the brethren in what? In the, in the Lord. Having become what? Confident by what? My chains are much more bold to what? Speak the word without what? Fear. Fear. Those that have the lost sheep. The Lord told us when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, he will give you a spirit of what? Boldness. Amen. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? Yes. Boldness comes with the lost sheep. Yes. If that God you serve hasn't given you his spirit. Then walk, continue walking till you get the spirit. That when the spirit comes in you, it gives you boldness, not fear. Amen. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? Amen. Are you sure? Okay, let's continue. Some indeed preach Christ even from what? Envy and strife and some also from what? Goodwill. The former preacher, the former, did I pronounce it right? The former preached Christ from what? Self-ambition, not what? Sincerity. Supposing, is it? Supposing to what? To add to my affliction. Okay, now he's explaining to you those people that does not have the lordship of Christ in them. They, they, they preach Jesus, but they don't have the lordship. They don't have that lordship. They, you hear them, most of you, in TV, we see it all the time. People come and say, Jesus said, hallelujah. Everybody shout, yeah. There is a place in the Bible that we are reading right now that is telling you all those things you see, not all. We see their hearts. That they don't have the lordship of Christ in them. Yeah. Now let's continue. It's verse 17. But the letter out of what? Yeah, out, of love. out of love. No, knowing that I am what? Yeah. Appointed for what? The, the what? The defense. the defense of what? Wow. The gospel. I'm talking about the lordship of Jesus Christ. It's different when people say, okay, let me generalize it right now. Said, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. But you don't have the Lordship of Christ in you. Before you have the Lordship, I told you number one is you have to have His Spirit before you have that Lordship. It's different. And that enviness, strives, all those things will not be there. It will never be there. Because the Holy Spirit, is, 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 it doesn't stay in that atmosphere. Are you guys hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, let's, let's continue. What then? Only that if every, every way 
whether in what? In pretense. In pretense. Did I pronounce it right? Yeah. Or in what? In truth. Christ is preached. And in what? In this I rejoice. Yes, will rejoice. For I know that this will turn out for my what? Deliverance through what? Your prayer and the... And what? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Let's read it again. Supply of what? Uh, wait now. You guys are no, you guys are like you're not reading the Bible that I'm reading. Maybe your own is showing different things. What did he say? Supply of what? Ah, you guys are too quiet now. Please say something. Let's read it together. Verse 19. For I know that this will turn out for my what? Deliverance. Through what? Your prayer. And what? The supply of what? Spirit of Christ. The spirit of Christ is what, what identifies what he is saying. The supply, they are praying. In that supply, they could see, they know that these ones don't have the spirit. They don't have, they don't have the lordship of Christ in them. You see it, I'm telling you. You won't know because they all preach the same Christ. They speak the same Jesus. Permit me. Permit me. When I say Christ is the anointed one, Jesus is the physical man. And that's why here anybody can bear Jesus, Jesus. The Christ is the anointed one, the God Himself. That's why it's called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's not a nickname. The fellowship that brings about what? The Lordship is that you are purified in Christ. And how do you get purification? By the Holy Spirit. You have been going to church. You are not purified by the Holy Spirit. How does the Holy Spirit purify you? By his word, renewing of the word in your heart. And he asks as the Holy Spirit comes in you, it renews it every day. Not the mind, the heart. Amen. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? The Lordship is there for you. The Lordship is there for you. Amen. The Lordship of Jesus Christ is for you. Are you willing to accept the Lordship of Jesus Christ today? Yes. You don't need to argue. You don't need to... To, to double into any argument. You only know because the Holy Spirit. He said it's a supply of the Spirit. He said pray. Your prayer is, is supply, supply what? Of the Spirit that you can see. You will know what I'm saying. Let me show you something again. Let's go to uh, Ephesians. Let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians. Are you guys inefficient? It's just one listen. Are you guys ready? Ephesians chapter 5. I want to show you something there. What I'm saying. So you guys will not understand what I'm saying. Are you guys ready? Verse, chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore be a what? Imitator of what? God as dear what? Children. And walk in love as what? Christ. It is a Jesus. <laughs> I hope you guys, I'm opening you guys. You guys are getting this understanding. He said be imitator. Be imitator. Be imitator as dear children of God. Walk as what? Walk as what? In love. Walk in love. As Christ also has loved us and given himself for us. An offering of what? Sacrifice to what? To God for what? Sweet smell aroma. Some verse, some 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 version says sweet sweet what savour. 
It comes. Ah. When you pray, because you have lordship with Christ, when you pray, God hears you. If you don't have the lordship, you cannot pray. I told you from the beginning. He said, ye shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Power to do what? Power to pray that God hears you. Power to cause miracles. Power to cause dynamic explosion. Because you have what? The lordship of what? Of Jesus Christ. Are you guys listening to what I'm saying? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you very, very sure? Okay. Let me take you to another place. Today is... Timothy. First Timothy. Let's go read First Timothy. First Timothy chapter two. When you have lordship of Christ, you are in the same place. Can I say this again? When I mean in the same place. That where God is, that is where you are. He said, what, what, what are you saying? Let's read. Are you, are you guys ready? First Timothy chapter what? Two. Verse 3. Let me take from verse 3. I wanted to, let's just, oh, let me make it from verse, let's read from verse 1. Therefore, I exhort first of all that supplication, prayer in what? In, in a what? In intercession and giving of what thanks be made for all men, for kings and all who are in what authority, that we may lead a what? A quiet and peaceful life in all what? Goodness and what? And what? And reverence. You control the authority. You, you are there. He told you, he said all supplication to the authority. You, you have right. Okay, you have right. Because you have the Lordship of Jesus Christ. To want, you want a peaceful life, how the whole nation will be. Because you are there, you can cause changes the way you want it. Except God said you should quiet. <laughs> okay, let's continue. For this is good and acceptable in what? In the sight of what? God, our what? Our Savior. Who desire all men to be what? Saved and to come to what? The knowledge of what? Of, of what? For there is one what? One what? One what? And one mediator between God and what? Men. The man of what? Okay, now, watch. Again, I'm trying to show you the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Did they say Jesus Christ? He said Christ. The anointed one showed up. He said the man Christ. <laughs> ah. The Spirit of God elevates you to the, the same place. To where he is, that's where you also is. He said man Christ. We have been reading it. We'll see it again. Let's continue reading. Verse 6. Who gave himself as a what? A ransom for all. To be what? Testify in what? In due time. Verse 7. For which I was what? Appointed. A what? A preacher. And a what? An apostle. I am speaking the what? The truth in what? Christ. In Christ. He didn't say in Jesus. He said in what? Christ. In Christ. You cannot see this except the Spirit of God is in you. He told them. Now he's doing the same thing again. Speaking the truth in Christ and what? Not lying. A teacher of what? Of gentile in what? In faith and what? 
in truth. Amen. Verse 8. I desire therefore that the men, what? Pray. Everywhere. Lifting up holy what? Yeah. Without what? Yeah. Right and what? Yeah. You see, you brought it again. You see it again. These are the one that is telling. This was have fellowship. The, 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 the fellowship of Jesus is in them. They have it. They have it. It's, it I told you, everywhere. Every... <laughs> okay, let me explain this. Let me explain this. You know, people say, it's not that, let's say you go out, you just gather and start praying. No, that's not what he's talking about. You are the one that carry it everywhere you go. You carry God inside. You carry Christ everywhere you go. It is in you. Some people will, will say, oh, no, it means that you guys will gather where maybe they are uh, uh, in front of nightclub. You start shouting, Jesus power, super power, Jesus power, super power. You are wasting your time. Somebody will come outside and finish you. Right. You got into a fight, they punch your face and the rest. No! Nobody know. They see a man walking, but in that man is God. Christ in him, the hope of glory. He's carrying that ransomness. Hey, Jesus was nailed on the cross for that. He came as a man. And he overcame as a Christ. The Messiah, the coming Messiah showed up to give us life eternal, to give us life in fullness. We have his spirit now. I can teach, I can speak, I can preach with the love that is in my heart. There's no wrath in my heart with anybody. If you like, you condemn me from today to tomorrow. I'll be looking at you. Not that I don't see you. My father opens my eyes to see. I smile. But what I pray for, for all men to come to know God, for you to be saved. I have the Lordship of Christ in me. The love of God flows out of me. It's in nature. This nature is what I'm calling you to tell God. Tell God, I want the Lordship of, 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 of your divine nature in me. It's, you don't pretend. It's not what you pretend. It's your nature. They said, no, he's pretending. Let's look. Let's look. How can he love like that? Wait. Time will tell. I said, ah. He doesn't get angry. No, not that you don't get angry, but it's not there. Why would I be angry? I was in darkness. Now I'm in light. What? Why should I be? It's like age. I've told you this. It's like somebody's age. Somebody that is older than me. Even though I frown my face from here to tomorrow, you are still older than me. So I don't like how you have elder brother in the house. Said, how, 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 how? He's just the elder brother. He's older than you, whether you like it or not. He's older than you. In the house, he's your elder brother. You say, elder brother. Sir, no, I'm talking about Sam. Sam is older than you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing you will do. <laughs> so no matter how you squeeze your face, you have that fellowship. You have the lordship of Jesus in your life. The, love, the, the Lordship of Jesus Christ has taken control of who you are. You are in Christ. You are in Christ. It is not what you, you, you say, okay, I will do it. No, it's not. You have come. You come. You came deliberately to God and said, God, take, take all of me. I am nothing. And the Lord said, yes, I will make you something. <laughs> Let me show you something in Thessalonians. Let's go to Thessalonians. Let's go to Thessalonians. Today I'm, 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 I hope I'm not rushing this. I hope I'm not rushing the Bible verses. Are you guys in Thessalonians? I'm looking for it. Don't worry. Eh? Thessalonians, the book of Thessalonians. Okay, first Thessalonians. <laughs> Are you guys there? Let's go to let's go to chapter three.
Hear what he said. I'm reading from verse 1. Therefore, when we, we could no longer endure it, we thought it's good to be what? Yeah. Left in Athens alone. And sent Timothy, our brother, and minister of what? Of God. And our what? Fellow laborer in what? In the gospel of what? In the gospel of who? Of what? <laughs> Did you guys get it? Are you getting what? He said, he said, we could no longer take it again. Everything, this is what is happening to us. Now, we are sending one, a fellow laborer. He didn't say a fellow laborer in Jesus. No, he said a fellow laborer in Christ. That means this Timothy has the spirit. He's anointed. This one have the Lordship of Jesus Christ. That is why we are sending, it, sending him to you guys. Let's continue reading. Okay, verse two. and sent Timothy, our our brother and minister of God, and our what fellow laborer in what in the gospel of Christ to establish you in what, in encourage you concerning what, concerning your what, you shall be witness to me. You shall be witness. He is a witness. Timothy has become a witness because what? He has the what? He has the lordship of Christ in him. Verse 3. He said that no one should what? Be shaken by the what? The affliction for you yourself know that we are what? Appointed to what? To do this. They know Jesus told uh, most of them how, how they will die, how things will happen to them. Be, these ones have the fellowship. They, they, they go for the gospel. Many today preach Jesus, but they don't know Christ. Oh, we are Christian of Jesus. We are Christian. We are Christian. We are Christian. But they don't know Christ. Many today, you see them, they come to and knock on your door. Will you follow Jesus? Will you follow Jesus? But they don't know Christ. And the Lord said, I don't know them. Many, many, millions, I don't know them. I don't know them. Many are religious. Religious under Christianity. But they don't know Christ. Most of them die like the princes of this earth. Because they don't know Christ. They know Jesus. But they don't know Christ. The anointed one. They don't know. You see many go through a lot. They can't see. I see a pastor speaking. He, speak, he cannot see his nose. And he's leading, he is leading people, people, leading them to domination. And those ones are shouting, Jesus, Jesus, we are Jesus people. Unto who? Not unto my God. He said, you know that we are appointed. It's not, uh, you don't understand. Appointed. They, this one, they appointed by God. It's not by men. By God appointed this one. Oh yeah, you, you go. Amen. If you are appointed by men, who do you please? Amen. Thank you. So if men appoint you, you please men. But if you are appointed by God, who do you please? Amen. You are running that race of faith. Amen. Paul said, I fought a good I, I, I fought a good fight of what? Faith. He run the race. He began, he come to his life. You don't, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't fear anything. I tell you, I'm saying this because that boldness of the Holy Spirit. If you, you get to a time that you, you, you come to that level of where you tell the angels. Said, somebody said he want, to, he want to harm you or want to do something. Just look. You said, I, I don't want to harm the person. The problem is that I don't want to harm the person. I'm praying for the person to know God. If I harm the person, there's no use. But you begin to pray. I told you there's a, a pastor that was praying against me. And I was laughing. And I raised my hand. Immediately that I saw that there's a pastor, I keep my hand down. I was praying for his own salvation. Wow. 
The Lord showed me, look at what is going on. Okay. Mm. But when you come to the, 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 the Lordship of Jesus Christ, all your heart tells you, you come to that peak, is to, to win soul. To win soul. To know, to, for them to know that Christ, Christ, the hope of glory, Christ. If you know the hope of glory, your life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue reading first. Where are we? Verse 4. But as we have been approved by who? Ah, you guys are quiet. Please say it together. But as we what? Did I read verse 3? No, you made me to. Where are we reading? Thessalonians, no, chapter, chapter what? Chapter 3. Verse 4, uh-huh. Verse 4. Okay. For in fact, we told you before when we were what? With you that we are what? We suffer tribulation. Who we suffer? Not you. Them. Please don't do that too. It's not you. It's Apostle Paul that suffered, not you. Listen to what, let's read it again. Listen, 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 please. Let's read it again. For, hear what he said. For in fact, we told you before, when we were what? With you. Who was with them? The atom, they were with them. They, they tell them, this is what the Lord told them about their own life. I'm reading it again. For in fact, we told you before, when we were with you, that we what? We will suffer tribulation just as it happened. And you know. What did he say? That means it happened to them, not you. Please don't do that. Don't let them know. <laughs> he, they went through those tribulations for us. We that are coming now to preach the gospel. They went through all this. Telling you that we are preaching the gospel of Christ. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? The gospel of Christ. The anointed one. The one that made us anointed. Are you guys understanding? The, the one that allowed his spirit to rest upon us. We became a witness. We became a witness. We became a witness. Not man witness. No, God witness. God is the one that appointed you. Are you guys? God is the one that appointed you as a spiritual giant. Moses did not appoint you or appoint you to be what? Spiritual giant. No, God did. Amen. You come to God and God take you. Yesterday, I was just listening to a lot of testimonies. A lot of testimony. <laughs> testimony, just testimony, testimony, testimony. Christ, Christ, Christ. This is the gospel I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching you guys now. Christ, the hope of glory. Not man. I don't want man to bear witness of me. I want the Holy Spirit in you to bear witness of who I am. That is what we are preaching. It's not by men. If you like, you see me shouting, shouting, say, oh, because Pastor Moses is shouting, that means he's a pastor. <laughs> no, I want the Holy Spirit to bear witness. Yeah. It bears from your heart that I belong to God. Are you guys listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Verse what? Verse 5. For this reason, when I could no longer endure it, who could no longer endure it? Who now? You guys are quiet. Paul could no longer endure what is going on. The hardship, what is happening to him, the affliction that was happening to Paul. That is why he sent Timothy to them. Let's continue reading. For this reason, when I could no longer endure it, I sent to, to what? No. To know your faith. Least by some means, the temper had what? Tempered you and what? Our labor might be what? In vain. That means the, the devil has come to play tricks. Has played the tricks. Do you know why he wrote to them? Did you guys know? Did you guys know? You guys are quiet. Let's go to, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go to Galatians. Galatians chapter 3. You will see what he was trying to say. Galatians chapter 3. This is the one that have what? The Lord sheep over him. Explain it to you. Are you guys there? 
Please, let's read it. I like this place. Are you guys ready? Open to Galatians chapter 1. Uh, Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. Are you guys ready to you sing it together with me? <laughs> are you guys there? Are you guys there? Yeah. Eh? You are there. Oh, yeah. Say it one time. Uh, say it together now. I want you guys to say it together. The f- oh, what? Oh, foolish Galatians. Say it one more time. Oh, what? Oh, foolish Galatians. Who has bewitched you? Who has what? Remember when he was telling them about the temper, tempering what? Tempting them. This is what he is talking to them. This is what happened to the Galatian church. This is what happened to them. Let's continue. Oh, foolish Galatians, who has what? Bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ. Why did he use whose eyes? They saw the man, Jesus Christ. They saw him. They saw, he has been using Christ. No, there's this one. They saw the man, Jesus. In whose eyes, your own eyes, your naked eye, you saw Jesus. Was what? Clearly portrayed among you as what? As crucified. So that we are there when they, when they crucified Jesus. Did you guys get what I'm saying? Did you guys understand what he was telling them about? Let's go. This only I want to learn from you. Did you receive the spirit by what? By the work of the law? Or by what? Hearing of what? Of faith. It is so easy to be, to be drafted. Taken away. Shaft away. To that gospel of Jesus. The gospel of Jesus is that, let me tell you about that gospel of Jesus. Okay, you come to church, all of us, let's go and preach. It's good. Everybody go and preach. You, you are so winner. Go, go. Go, everybody. Go, go and preach the gospel. We like it. I'm a Christ, for, uh, I'm, a, I'm a man of Christ in Jesus. We go. And uh, something happened. People start blaming. Are they not Christian? What happened? Why this, this? Many things are happening to you. But... All your effort, all your effort you put in that thing because they told you. That is the gospel of Christ. That is different. Wait, let me bring it back. I've put you. That is the gospel of of what? Jesus. Jesus is the man. Jesus Christ is the anointed one. If you are going to be, to evangelize, there is a spirit that bears you witness that you are going forth to go and speak. So when any demon comes to play around, the demon is supposed to run away from you. <laughs> you have the Lordship of Jesus Christ. This is what I'm telling you. It's not about you. It is about God in you. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? The Lordship of Jesus Christ. The man Jesus came. They saw him. And his name is called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Now unto you that did not see that belief. It's called Christ. Yes. 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 The Galatians was around when Jesus was around. Yes. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? They saw him physically. The Jews, they saw him. Unto you is given Christ. Let me ask you a question among you guys that are here. Who have seen Jesus Christ? Which you saw him and said, Ah, I saw Jesus Christ. He just walked now. Do you remember when you saw the cloud? Did you see his face? When you see Christ, <laughs> uh, even Paul, Paul, Paul that is writing this, all this, Paul, did Paul meet Jesus Christ? I want, I'm asking you guys. Did Paul in your Bible, that they say, oh, Paul met Jesus Christ. Did you see where he met Jesus Christ? 
that he was, he was among the what? Was Paul among the disciples? You guys are not talking. No. Was Paul among the disciples? No. They told us that, that Jesus appeared unto who? Unto Paul. He could not behold. He immediately bowed down. Only him. But there were two others that was with Paul. But they did not see him. He was telling them, look at the Lord. Look at the Lord. He could not be heard his face. The same thing to John. John the divine. John the divine met Jesus physically. He knows the man, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All of us that are here, we did not meet the man, Jesus Christ. We met Christ. We have Christ. The anointed one. That is what makes us anointed. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? The, the Lordship over your life gives you that access to see Christ. Not everybody will see. Not. I'm not preaching the gospel of religion. No. I'm preaching the gospel of the Holy Ghost. I'm preaching the gospel of the Holy Spirit. We became a witness because the Holy Spirit came upon many that was there. And the Holy Spirit is still here today. The Holy Spirit is with us. As much as you can take. We have that word. What do we have? Lordship. We have the Lordship of Christ in us. That is why we can, we, we can, we, 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 we can know, let me use this, we can know when the truth is being speak. It's being spoken, we know that this one, oh, this pastor is telling the truth. Or oh, this pastor is telling like. If I'm lying, most people that see that the Lord opens their eyes, they will testify that I'm lying. They will testify. Those that have Christ will testify. Even the demon will testify. Testify. They will say, this one belongs to them. They belong to that light, that people of light. We are the light of the world. We, we, we have the Lordship of Jesus Christ in our life. We are not telling you to, 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 to show up. No, it is who we are. I, please permit me. Let's go to Revelation. Revelation, please. Are you guys in Revelation? Let's read, let's, <laughs> uh, verse 19, chapter 3 of Revelation, verse 19. Chapter 3, verse what? 19. As many as I love, I what? And what? Is it chastine? Is it, did I pronounce it right? Chastine? Chastine? American English. Chastine? <laughs> Therefore, be what? Zealous and what? Let me take that again. Hear what he said. As many as I love, I rebook and what? Chest time. Therefore, be what? Zealous and what? Repent. Let's continue. Verse 20. Behold, I stand. Behold, I stand at what? The door and knock. If anyone hear my what? Voice and open the door, I will what? Come in to him and what? Dine with him and he will what? He what? 
Say that time again. Say, say it again. He will be what? He will be with me. Verse 21. To him who overcomes, I will what? Ah. To him who what? To him who what? To him who what? And hmm. Wait, I'm, I'm, I know I'm, okay, let me hold on, let me hold on, let me hold on, <laughs> wait, <laughs> let me hold on. We talk about when you overcome. Now he's telling you, the ones that have Christ is the one that overcome. I'm going to show you, let's read. To him who overcomes, I will what? Grant to, to sit with me on my what? No. Eh? No. On my what? No. Ah, oh, you guys are not talking. On my what? On my throne, who sit with, who sit with Christ, is those that overcame. Those that overcome, who sit with what? Ah, you guys are not talking. These ones are the ones that have what? Lordship. These are the ones that overcame. They have lordship. Apostle Paul has a lordship. He has a lordship with Christ. Those that overcome. He said they will sit with me. Where did he say they will sit? In the bush? Where did he say they will sit? On the throne. What? As holy as he is. So you are. Let me repeat it again. As holy. As holy. You understand? As holy as he is, so you what? You are. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let me repeat it again. Are we equating ourselves to our father? No. He said, this is Jesus saying, you will sit on my throne with me. Because you have what? Lordship with me. Are you guys getting all this? Are you sure? Yes. It's not, it's not, it's not. I hope you guys are getting what I'm saying. He said, you will sit with me. Yes. It's not, I'm not saying it as a religious person. No, I'm telling you, this is the truth. This is the fact. Because you overcame. And how do you overcome? You have what? The Lordship of Christ with you. You have the Lordship of what? Of Christ with you. That is how you over what? Overcomes. Let's finish it. He who has what? Uh, you guys are quiet. He who has what? Yes. Let him what? What the what? The spirit says to the what? <laughs> the message. This message is sent to the churches. Now. This. Is to all the churches. This church is, that he's talking about is not, there's a particular, particular generation to another generation. It does not stop to the churches. It does not stop. It's not like in Ladosia. Yes, there's a message to, to the Ladosia. But to other churches, to the Athens, there's churches in Galatians, to Revelation, to all to them. But this word that he said now is to generation after what? Generations. You cannot, I'm repeating again, you cannot have what lordship without what? His spirit. Yeah. If you have this lordship, that means you have, you have what? You, you have the spirit. Yeah. Are you guys listening to? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you very sure? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me take it. Let's just push back. Go to First John. Let's go to First John. Let me show you something. In First John. I want to I want to read this. You uh, please remember why I'm reading this. I hope you guys remember. Let's, let's read from chapter 5. 
First John chapter 5. Are you guys there? Yes. Whoever believed that Jesus is what? The Christ. Okay. The first statement is what? Whoever. Remember this. Believe that Jesus is what? Is what? Is what? Is what? Is what? Did he say born again? No, he said born again. Let me repeat it again. Let's read it together again. Whoever believes that Jesus is what? Is what? Is what? Is what? And everyone who loves him, who? Aha! Who what? Begot. Who was the first begotten of the Father? Jesus. He came as a man. That is why he's telling you. The man Jesus. He, now he's telling you, Jesus is the Christ. He told you the man. That is the first begotten. Let's continue. Begotten also, also love him who is what? Ah, you guys didn't get it. Please, let's, let's cut that English again. He said what? Begotten also loves him who is what? Begotten of what? Of him. Did you guys get it? I told you, I said Jesus is the first. There's a lot of begotten. A lot. Now, before you become, join those members, that means you have to have Christ in you. You have to believe that Jesus is Christ. That means you have to have it in you before you become one of the begotten. Did you guys get it? I hope I did. Yeah. Are you sure you are getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. By this we know that we love what? The children of God. When we love God and keep his what? Commandment. For this is the what? The love of God. And that we keep his commandment and his commandments are not what? Bodysome. For whatever is born of God. Aha. Whatever is born of God. Ah, uh, you guys are not answering me. What, whatever is born of God. Read now. You guys are, are you there? Oh, you, did you guys get it now? Yeah. Let me read it again. For this we know that we love the children of God. And when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not bodysome. For whatever is born of God overcomes what? The word. the word. And this is the victory that has overcome what? The word. The word our what? Our faith. Did you guys get this? I read Revelation. Did you guys read with, with me? He, he, I, 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 I. the first statement in chapter, in chapter 5 was, whoever believed that Jesus is Christ has what? Is what? Is born of God. And when you, are, when you become born of God, you have what? Overcome the war. Did you guys get it? Are you sure you got what I just said? So, you have to have Christ in you. Yes. Did you guys? I told you, I've explained this, the difference between born again and born of God. Yes. Now you see it again in, in what? In lordship. Yes. You cannot have the lordship of Christ without you being born of what? Of God. Yes. He didn't say born again. No, he said born of God. Wow. Has overcome the world. Yes. And those that overcome the world, we sit in the throne with God. Huh? Those that has been what? Is what? Is born of God. Who sit with God. <laughs> I hope this is not too heavy for you guys. Are you sure it's not heavy? Let, let me finish it up. I, let's read here. Verse 5. Who is he? Aha. Uh -huh. Who is he who overcomes the world? Ah, uh, are you guys ready? Yeah. But he who believed that Jesus is the what? Son of God. This is he who came by water and blood. Jesus Christ, the man. Every man, every human being 
have, if they pierce you, you will see water and what? And blood. Every man, you have your white blood cell and you have your red blood cell. You have water and you have blood. Is that true or not? That's what makes you human. Let's read it again. He's saying this again. Who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believed that Jesus is the son of God. This is he who came by water and blood. Jesus Christ. Not only by water, but by, by what? By water and blood. And it is the spirit who bears... Spirit who bears what? Spirit who bears what? Because the spirit is what? You remember Jesus saying, the spirit of truth. This spirit will tell you of things to come. The spirit of truth, you will have it. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Are you in that level? Are you in that level? Are you operating in that level? Yes. Are you sure you are operating in that level? Yes. Are, do, do, do you have the, 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 the lordship of Jesus in your Christ? Yes. This Christ that I'm talking, do you, have, do you have the lordship of Christ in you? Do you have, uh, you, do you have Christ in you? Yes. Do you have the hope of glory in you? Yes. Hey! You don't, know the, you, you don't know the physical Jesus, but you have the Christ. You have the Christ. You have never met the physical Jesus, but you have the Spirit. You have God in you, the hope of glory. I am telling you because I know this. If you walk in this truth, oh, you have overcome. You become born of God. You, are, you have become born of God. The Spirit dwells in you. The light of God shines through you to many. You sit with Christ in his throne. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I worship you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, our Father, thank you for today. Thank you for your fellowship. Thank you for your lordship over our life. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, King of glory. My Father, my God, the one that sent me. Lord Jehovah, thank you for these ones that are here. Those that are watching me in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my God. Father, Thank you because you are wonderful. Thank you because you are excellent. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for, 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 for countries. I pray for them in the name of Jesus. I pray for Europe in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Australia. I'm praying for Australia. I'm seeing a, a natural disaster in, in Australia. I'm praying for the people in Australia. If you guys are watching me, I know there's some of our members in Australia. I'm praying. Uh, I'm talking to... Uh, Apostle Faith, I'm talking to you. I pray with you and I'm praying with you to those many that are there. I'm praying for you. Any natural disaster, may the God I serve con control everything that people will not die much. What I'm saying that God will, will put it in a level that people will not die much. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, this disaster will take a lot of life. But we are praying this prayer. It's going to happen. I can't, this one is not something I can stop. But I'm praying that God should protect his children. Protect his children in the name of Jesus. What I'm saying is going to be on the news. I'm praying for Australia in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for Europe in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for, I'm praying for Spain. I'm praying for Italy. May the Lord God I serve protect them. Protect them from any flood. Protect them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Germany. I'm praying for Germany in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, protect your children. Protect your children. I pray for England in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a, a, a certain place in England like people doing some crazy things, crazy things, crazy things. My Lord and my Father, let the police people come to, to, to rescue. Let the uh, police people come to rescue in the name of Jesus. Everything I'm saying, you are going to see it on the news. I'm praying for, 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 for uh, Guatemala. Guatemala. I'm praying for El Salvador. I'm praying for, for those areas. I'm praying for them in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God himself protect them. Protect them in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing like a lot of shooting, shooting, shooting in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my Father, protect your children. Protect your children. I pray. I'm praying in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for United States in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you know all. You know all. My Lord and my Father. In the name of Jesus. Protect 
protect your children, protect your children, protect your children, protect your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Protect your children from evils. Protect your children from evils. Pro protect your children from evil. My Lord and my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, any calamity, let your children be protected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God of hosts, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm seeing a truck, a truck, a semi, that's a semi, and this semi, does it went up like this, goes like this, I'm seeing it, a semi goes up, I pray that people are saved, I pray people are saved in that semi, it's going to be, they will broadcast it on the news, my Lord, semi, 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 my Lord and my Father, protect your children in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God of hosts, thank you for today, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are here, in the name of Jesus, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed, my Father and my God, thank you, thank you for their lives, thank you, Jehovah, King of glory, thank you, in the name of Jesus, and they are going out, they are blessed, and they are coming in, they are blessed, those that are watching me, you are blessed, you are blessed, those who that will see this video, you are blessed, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, I'm seeing, I'm seeing somebody with tuberculosis. Like I'm seeing, like you are in Africa, and I'm an African country. Uh, I'm seeing um, this country, uh, Malawi. I'm praying for you. Any tuberculosis, may, it, may, may that tuberculosis die in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Since, 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 since way. Sincerely, way am I pronouncing pronouncing it right? Sincerely, way. If I pronounce your name bad, please forgive me. Sincerely, way. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That tuberculosis will die. That tuberculosis will die. That tuberculosis will die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord God of hosts, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you guys for watching us. I want to use this opportunity to thank everybody. Everybody, your lovely wishes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. May the God I serve, each and every one of you, thank you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I'll see you guys next week.